So the Trump administration is suggesting that there's a link between autism and pregnant women consuming Tylenol. You know the way I look at it? Don't take it. Don't take it. There's, there's no downside in not taking it. And they're pointing to some research that recently came out in August that was funded by the National Institutes of Health, which looked at research on this and did find a couple dozen studies which suggested a connection here. But what's important to remember is that more research is needed and the studies we do have suggest correlation, not necessarily causation. Leading medical groups still say that Tylenol is safe to use during pregnancy, but some researchers have said that it is warranted to use the drug with some caution, pointing to some research that suggests the drug could affect fetal development. The White House is also touting another medication called Leucovorin, which is a form of vitamin B or folate, which for a long time pregnant women have been recommended to take because it improves neurological development. And there's actually a, quite a bit of research suggesting that taking this supplement for nonverbal autistic children can actually help them develop the ability to speak. Experts say that more research is needed, but that there is a lot of promise on this front. Right now, the drug Leucovorin is prescribed by doctors to autistic children off-label, but my colleagues report that the FDA is looking to widen its use by changing the language on the label so it could be prescribed to them.